I'm going to start off by making a class. I'll call the class X, and within it I will define a method called Y, and I'm going to print out the word hi. Now I'm going to instantiate it. A equals X, open close parentheses. Now what I've just done is I've created an instantiated object, and now I can access all of this, or can I? A, now let's put in a dot. We should see a pop-up menu. And there it is. How is it that I can access this? How is this wrong? How is it that I'm walking into a trap? But I am. I'm going to execute the method called a.y. Hit enter. And I'm going to get clobbered. Oh, I get a traceback error. And it gives me a quizzical response. You know that guy, Y? You mean this guy over here? Yes. Well, he takes zero positional arguments. That's right. That's very clear up here. I don't see anything up there that gives indication he takes an argument. And so there's zero arguments. But you went and gave him one. Well, no, I didn't. Well, not intentionally. But actually, I did give him one. How did that happen? When we keyed in a dot y open close parens, just before you hit enter, invisibly a, this guy here, the instantiated object a, went and invisibly went and put his name right in there, like so. It was invisible. Nobody saw it. And when we hit enter, it jumped up here to class x and went looking for y, found the y, and took this A and put him right in there and says, oh, why doesn't take any arguments? What are you doing? So we have to put something in here that'll catch this automatically passed variable, which is the name of this object. Oh, okay, that's where the problem lies. All right, so let's do that. So I come over here and I'm going to redefine this. Within Y, I'm going to put self. Very good. Now I'm going to hit enter twice. Alas un, alas dos. Oh, it all worked out well. Now I'm going to go through this again. A is equal to X. Open close friends. I've just instantiated the object. And now I'm going to say, Mr. A, yes, go to the Y method. And, oh, don't like that error again. Oh, I don't have to worry about any error. I don't have to worry about putting an A in there. He automatically will do that. Okay. And that'll get caught by Mr. Self over here. And then it'll print out high and it'll work. All right, here we go. Keep your fingers crossed. And, bada bing. It worked. So, we're telling this method Y to do some work. He says, I'm not going to do that until you identify yourself. So you have to have this variable in here to catch the name of the object that's going to be automatically and invisibly passed within these parentheses to here. Identify yourself. If there's no self there, if there's no variable to catch this, it's going to say, I don't know who you are. I'm not going to do any work. You can forget about it, pal. Include self in here. It catches the name of the instantiated variable. Puts it into here. Y says, ah, oh, okay, it's Mr. Ray giving me orders. The boss. Okay, I'll do it. And he prints out, hi. He does the work. And that's how that works.